start off your morning, come in to uh, unplug your Juno. This is a micro USB. It's plugged into the side over here in one of the USB ports. Put it on for the day. You will actually press any, uh, uh, press the button to wake it up. And that'll also wake your Juno up. And off you go. So teach as usual. If your Juno is not already uh, mounted or, or up front in your classroom, the cable's installed, go ahead and take it out of the box, find everything. Power button's a little hidden back here. Uh, your mic will be partially charged, so technically you could take it out of the box and start teaching immediately. But we, of course, want you to charge the mic overnight. You're, I'm muted now, you see the red light when I press the one button again, a green light. I'm live and that's it. There's no on off button. It just goes to sleep. So you just either when you're done, drop it in a charger if you have one or plug it into the mini USB. But just speak normally. Uh, don't change anything. Teach the way you normally teach. Just we just add the mic and it just improves everything. You might want to slow down a bit. Uh, think about uh, talking like Mr. Rogers that aids in intelligibility a lot. So an uh, important factor, but has nothing to do with us. So set your initial volume, um, it may be around 15 or 16, but um, really just when you can hear yourself talk is about right. And certainly have your kids tell you, tell you what volume it needs to set at. Once you get it set, probably will keep it there for the most part. And then at the end of the day, you just take it off, either plug it back in or you can drop it into the charger, which is an optional feature, which charges a student and a teacher mic. It'll be fine in the mornings, come in and get it again. A few things to watch out for are um, sunlight. If uh, is sunlight streaming directly onto the sensor, you'll get a little bit of uh, interference, so uh, avoid that. Um, don't tape anything, you elementary school teachers, to the sensor. That'll block the sensor, so don't tape anything to the sensor. Um, if you're team teaching, uh, that's fine. Uh, the teacher mic ships on a channel A, and with another teacher mic in the room, it needs to be set on channel B. So with the screwdriver we provided, take off the back plate and just change that to channel B if you'll be team teaching. As far as uh, avoiding uh, feedback, typically a journal will take care of that, but just don't stand too close to it. And if you've got the volume up too loud, too hot, it, it, you may get some feedback before it's suppressed. Other than that, uh, you don't even need to turn the Juno off. It'll just go to sleep as well. When you come back in the morning, put the mic on, uh, click it on, everything wakes up and you're good to go.